Hello everyone, this is Abhay Sharma and welcome to another tutorial from thinkingpenguin.com. Today we are talking about groups in animation nodes. Groups are simply a way to reuse a node tree again and again to save time and processing. Otherwise you will end up with tons of duplicate nodes and very slow performance. So let's see how we can create a basic group network. Go to the sub-program menu and choose group. A group node network has three associated nodes, group input, group output, and invoke subprogram, the implementation node. Let's rename this group. Let's say addition because it will add two numbers. Let's create a math node and connect the inputs to group inputs. Just drag and drop, it will automatically create proper inputs. Change the mode to add and connect the result to group output. Alright, now the invoke subprogram node or the implementation node has two inputs and one output. Let's change the label to something more meaningful. And that's how you create a basic group network. Now you can consider this addition node as an independent node, which adds two numbers and gives an output. And the great thing about this whole thing is that it is reusable. So if I duplicate this node, it will work independently. It's not gonna affect the sibling nodes in any way. You can even nest them together. So just put your reusable node tree between these two group nodes and you are done. No more duplicating and wasting time. But there are few quirks here and there with groups. For example, you should not use any output nodes like mesh output or text output etc inside group network. It won't behave the way you want. At least in my experience it never worked. But there may be any workaround. If anybody knows, please tell me in the comments. And don't use object instancer inside group network. They are not meant to be used in any subprogram. So just keep in mind. All right, let's see a different example, which is slightly better. So here are a few animated cubes and a camera in the scene. And what this node tree is doing is it's filtering out those cube objects which are visible in the camera frustum. And the animation on these cubes only activates when it is visible in camera view. So when I see through the camera and play the timeline, you can see it's moving from cube A to cube B and to cube C and all the cubes are rotating. But if I look outside the camera view, you can see what's happening. Now I want to make this node tree reusable so that I can use it with other cameras as well. But we have to figure out how to connect it with group nodes. And every node tree is going to be different. So let's create a group node. Let's rename this to something meaningful. Let's start connecting all the necessary inputs to group input. So for this group input node, I'm going to need the camera, rename it properly. volume object well volume object is just a cube object which detects if there is any object or objects inside it let's connect the object group input this object group has all the cube objects in the scene don't get confused between object groups and group sub program in animation node it sounds confusing though all right let's uh, create the group output node i'm going to disconnect all the unnecessary nodes from this tree to make it compact and more specialized all right so I'm going to move all the nodes here at one place so if any cube is visible in the camera view it will output that object here so we can connect that to the group output but you can't why because it's inside loop network we have to connect it outside loop network well, at this point, if you haven't watched my previous tutorials on loops, it's kind of difficult to explain. So please watch it first. Okay, now we need to output the object list from loop network. So we have to create an object list generator. Connect it. 
Now we can connect with loop output node in Vogue sub program. Let's delete this entry and connect again. That's it. Now create the invoke sub program node from the group input node. Rename it. Let's move those nodes that is disconnected from group network here. Let's start connecting. We are not going to need this node. Select the proper objects in camera and volume object from drop down list. Connect the group object. This group has all the cube objects in the scene. You can see it in here. So basically it gives a list of objects. Let's loop through it. Connect all the rest of the nodes. So it's done and working fine, right? Now we will reuse it with other camera. So let's duplicate the inside camera node. And the camera also. Let's animate it first. Okay, by default, if you hit the zero key on the numpad, it will switch to the scene camera. If you want to switch to other camera, just select the camera and press the control plus zero key on numpad. Let's animate it. Let's also duplicate the volume object, okay? Choose the right object in drop down list. Let's use the group object list from the previous node. Now you can either create necessary nodes or just duplicate it from the previous network. Okay, let's see the result. It should be working, but it's not. Let's see what did I do wrong. You know, it's a recorded tutorial and I already know the problem, but I left it intentionally to avoid weird cuts. So you can see I'm struggling here to find the problem but I will find it ultimately. The problem was that the object list input value is connected to wrong object list node. Okay, now it's working. So that's what group node does. Alright guys, if you like this video then please subscribe, share, comment or give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.